Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to hit today. Weather, Mars, solar system, moons, star formation, and cosmic electric current. But we begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun much like the last. Bright region turns through on the south with no sunspots beneath it. Dark coronal holes continue turning through. Their solar wind is still a day or two away from Earth. However, as we wait, the stream intensity has dropped out, leaving very quiet geomagnetic conditions. Two cosmic ray advisories have come through the disaster prediction app since we last spoke. Folks, Alaska just watched a record hot morning transition into a record snowfall. Always fun tearing down two records in a day, and of course the cold has been in the continental states for a while already. And speaking of temperatures, so this is the image going around the world for the October climate, mostly red and white. Very little blue with only one record cold square over the USA, the darkest red squares peppered across the map. Now here are the real temperature charts, using degrees instead of their qualitative cherry picking. Record cold, again felt across the United States. The amount of blue over the entire map surged tenfold. The dark red at mid and low latitudes disappeared except for Australia. And this is much closer to reality. Too bad the rest of the world will miss it again this month. Let's go out to Mars. They are focusing on atmospheric chemistry, water vapor, carbon dioxide, dust. They have taken the observable data they do have, put it all into simulations to see if they could recreate in greater detail the pieces of the puzzle that they had picked up. Success came when it recreated the fall and winter dust storms, seen in yellow, plainly taking over the planet during its northern winter season. Interesting that it only happens once a year. A quick stepping stone on Titan, as the first global map of the moon has been made. Plains, lakes, craters, dunes, etc. Now sticking with the solar system moons, we're going to Europa next, except it probably looks a little more like this. Scientists have suspected a water ocean beneath the surface of Europa, and also that it's pluming up made for a water vapor rich atmosphere. Indeed, they have now confirmed this with Keck, where a long viewing session revealed tremendous infrared re-emission from the photoionized vapor particles hit by sunlight. Europa might be the closest thing to Earth in this entire solar system. Up next, we're looking at star formation, but not in random cold molecular clouds in the galaxy, but the violent environment of the active galactic nucleus, specifically that of the Phoenix Cluster, with its radio jet, Surrounded by blazing hot X-ray emitting gases, its Hubble invisible light, the very large array on the radio jets, and Chandra on the X-ray gas. Who else? They say that while most active galactic nuclei quench star formation by heating and blowing out the gas, here, the slightly lesser activity is already allowing slightly colder filaments of gas to form, and they're already noticing furious star formation within that heart of the Phoenix Cluster. Last but not least, European Space Agency, Orion A molecular cloud and in infrared light with tracings of light polarization draped atop, showing the orientation of the magnetic fields. Speaking of draping, the way the fields wrap around the filament are indicative of the filament's aid in the field creation and modulation. How do you get magnetic fields to wrap around a thin linear structure? You run electric current through the structure, of course. Of course, they know this material contains ions and electrons and is flowing, which makes it a bulk flow electric current. And this is something we've been discussing in significant fashion at the larger scales as well. The filaments of the cosmic web, the largest universal scale structure, also fit this description and likely have their bends and kinks based on excesses in the current and field intensity, just like you'd see in a plasma lab. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. The Disaster Prediction app is expected to fire at least one more cosmic ray alert today. At otf.cells.com, we have observers gear, conference registration, and our books. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.